get my fist side. You know I gotta look good when I walk out the house. You know I know the camera's following. I know they taking pictures, right, drama? Hey. Hey, man. You watch it, I live it. You dig that? Y'all sit back, relax, get some popcorn, man. I'ma make it a good show. You dig that? Are you not in It's gonna make a hell of a movie, huh? My life, hey. Before we get started, I want to say congratulations on everything. Um, first off, that being your first Super Bowl championship, along with playing with Tom Brady, how does that even feel? Like, have you even soaked that in, or like, how, how does it feel? I mean, I just let it. I let it simmer. Got to a point in my career where it just, it had to just be regular. It had to be to be the norm to play with greats and to play in big games and do all the things that wouldn't be normal and is not normal to a guy like me being from South Central Los Angeles. So really, I didn't really take no feeling to it. You know, sometimes I think about it and be like, "Well, fuck, like, that was amazing." And, the whole situation, I have stories for a lifetime, but other than that, I just had to do my job at the time, but I still don't, I still don't feel real. Leading up to that, what all took place? Like getting ready mindset-wise, mentally and physically? Um, the mental and physical part was already put into place way before the season. Mm -hmm. um, I knew what I wanted to do personally to put myself in a position to help the team. And I knew what they expected of each player coming in, especially with Tom Brady coming in, Rob Gronkowski, big, big guys. And they knew they wanted to win now um, as an organization. So me personally, I got my mindset ready a long time ago, knowing that, hey, Tom Brady can take us to the Super Bowl, even if it's Tom Brady on a whole new team. It's just that, that type of accolades and that type of perception when somebody comes with him. So for me, it was just, I knew what type of football it was. I knew what type of championship football, and I, I hold myself as a, yeah, you know I mean, the player that, and the player that has to play at a top standard at all times. So it's just, you know, took it up ten notches with Tom Brady. <laughs> I'm sure you had to. How long did y'all celebrate? Like I know that was probably just, probably just, probably about a week. A week of celebration? No, no, it probably about it's been a, been a week since I stopped. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we we good April. <laughs> We won uh, the seventh of February. Yeah, it's been what? Like, yeah. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, it's been a, it's we've been turning up. Do you have any personal goals for the upcoming um, year or season? Um, be better than I was last season. Um, for me, it's like it's time to really take that next step. It's time to take that that next step when it comes to performance. It's time to take that next step when it comes to what earns. Yeah, I mean, what, what comes with the earning after the performance. And it's a lot of things that, you know, I want to do and want to accomplish, but it comes with opportunity and it comes with being ready for that opportunity when it comes. And I just control what I can control and let God do what he do. And I just be ready to play when the ball snaps. Before we continue, I'm going to get some more lines. This guy here is doing his best. So, pull that thought. I thought it was absolutely Yes, what can we expect from you next year, following all of this, the events that happened this past year? Just to be amazing in all aspects of what I'm doing, on the field, off the field, on the field, you know what I mean, I have to be amazing, like, it's like, you say that and some people be like, man, that's me being cocky, no, no, for real, to keep your job, to and I want to keep your job to go to the next level and get that raise in your job. You gotta be amazing. So that's really my mindset. This mindset is it's, it's a lot of integral parts in there and details in there that I can, you know, explain. We'll be here all night, probably for a whole year. But being amazing is the best way I can explain in a whole flurry of things. What message do you give to kids who look up to you? Um, just keep doing everything they've been doing. 
and see the positive and growth in the guys that they look up to at all times. Uh, when you come to football, when you come to life, and when you come to looking up to somebody, you know what I mean, you're looking up to not only what their skill set is, especially when it comes to football, but you're looking up to them as a man and, and what they're doing, you know what I mean, around their self to be the best football player, the best man they can be. So just take the influential things, make sure in everything you do, you give it 110%. Because going half and, 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 and saying you're going to do this later and do that later, it's guys like me that is going 120%, 110% every day, uh, not giving a day off. And just stay influenced. Stay influenced. You know I mean, love who you love, love your family, love God. Have everything that, you know what I mean, that entitles to any of that I just said. Have that <laughs> bottled up and allow that to spew and concentrate on that. Everything else, all the glitz, all the glamour, all the fame, all the trophies, all the whatever will fall into place. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, on and off the field. So now we're going to get into a little bit of what we're drinking tonight, even though. Yeah. <laughs> we are drinking Josh, and my bottle is over there, and I will have to get up and get it. Or you know what? You're the star. You you stay seating, and I'll. Josh, where's Josh at? <laughs> I ain't Josh, know you. I ain't know you had. Exactly. Well, I would feel too good if it drank like juice. Did you guys even you celebrate with one when you you know one, or just straight champagne and other alcohol beverages? Yeah, I don't think Juan was anywhere in that <laughs> in that topic of discussion when it comes to what we drink. And I, I promise you Juan wasn't in that. It wasn't? Okay, mm -hmm. well, now we're mm -hmm. having it. And this is, again, this is Josh, you guys, Red Blend. Uh, it's not so much of a bitter taste. It's not so much of a sweet taste. Honestly, it's a, another great entry point for wine if you want to get into it, especially with reds. Red blends are definitely a go-to. And that is what we're drinking tonight. And honestly, I will have it rated on my um, wine rates and my highlights on my Instagram story later this week. And that way you can check it out with more details about it. And so we're going to tell about what we do and what do we look for in the future. Um, what I had to deal with leading up to this is this is what you guys are getting right now. Hey. Where is my wine bottle at anyway? God. Yeah, no, you good. Okay. <laughs> put this in the blue. <laughs> <laughs> understand me? Hey, I ain't got time for this shit. Now let's go back to being regular. Look, you, you got me. You got me fucked up. <laughs>